Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's Forties World and I am Deb Chanel. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back to my channel. I hope your holidays are or were i should say very relaxing and if you're still off such as myself don't have to go back to january 2nd hallelujah <laughs> okay so uh basically this is the weekend baby okay and we're winding down and for those who have to get up and go to work on monday morning i salute you and i too feel your pain okay unless you have a job that's not really a job it's a career you love it you love it love it like myself when i go into work it's pretty much like I'm at home. I'm just kicking it back. I'm doing what I got to do. And I'm getting up out of there. Okay. Just like I do on here. I do what I got to do. And then I'm getting up out of there. And then I take the time out to kind of interact with you guys. If I haven't fallen asleep. Or I'm not running them streets out there. Okay. But just give you that little edification thank you for subscribing to my channel for resubscribing to my channel because like i said we are going through a purge with youtube and they're doing their little thing getting away uh counseling away accounts that haven't been active or uh, you know on a routine basis but we're gonna come here and we're gonna talk about this story that urban bell put out yes urbanbellmag.com Ooh, child, they got Buffy Parcells still over there fighting with Dr. Heavenly. And if anybody don't know, Dr. Heavenly has her own YouTube channel. And she's over there giving dialogue on her uh, colleagues, her uh, co-stars on the show, hit show Married to Medicine. Okay, Atlanta, not L.A. And uh, she's just putting her little two cents in on how she sees fit or how things should have went down on Married to Medicine. Now, okay, I tell you, she liked to be in every scene. So if she's in a scene, she got a lot to say. If she's not in the scene, she ain't got too much to say. But one thing I can say about Dr. Helen is she speak her mind. She peaks, uh, speak her piece and uh, she don't take no crap. <laughs> okay, it's her opinion, it's her viewpoint, and she feels it's the right thing to do and say, and that's how she gets down. So if anybody want to come over there, tell her Deb Chanel sent uh people over there to see her clown get down, how she get down, and tell her truth. All right. So I thought that that was a little friendly plug, okay? Because she did respect. I had went on her channel before, and I had made a comment about she was um uh, clocking her own tea all right and and <laughs> and telling her own self off okay and she was like who can do it better baby i'm like, all right girl all right rocks with you but sometimes i have to call a spade a spade and dr heavenly when you over there picking on people i gotta call you out because sometimes people don't understand what they're doing until somebody shines some light so i am the light shiner for you I'm the right shot, the light shiner for you, Dr. Heavenly. And I'm sure plenty of other people do go on your post as well and try to um, subscribe to your channel, which I did do. Hopefully you subscribe back to me, Dr. Heavenly. But if you didn't, okay, it's all good. Maybe you'll watch some of my videos and uh, one day you'll become uh, a family affair. Fam over here. All right. But like and share my videos and definitely subscribe to my channel. Okay. But anyway, we're going to go with Buffy Purcell. And uh, Urban Bill had wrote up a, a little article on her. And it's none other than my Amanda Anderson Niles over there knocking out those little salacious stories here and there. And right now she's talking about Dr. Heavenly as well as Buffy Purcell. Now on her article she titled, she's saying Buffy's taking a high road. Now I don't know if that high road is going to lead to some forgiveness or some understanding towards her colleagues, her constituents, Dr. Heavenly and Dr. Simone. I know Dr. Simone is on her side, I believe. But Dr. Um heavily in dr jackie i don't know because it seemed like dr jackie done gave all she could with this apology mess she just don't need to repeat shit you know what i'm saying don't go in the past and bring up somebody else's life history story that's something you need to stay away from jackie i'm just saying stay all the way back up do your medical thing do your bedside manner when you're getting paid for it. Now, when you on this here show called Married to Medicine, we know it's fake, fraudulent, and full of fuckery. We do know this, okay? And for the ones that don't, who? Give them a clue, okay? But we know you come over there to give antics. But, hmm, sometimes it's kind of making things a little hazy, a little fuzzy. Like, do we really want to 
come out and visit you for any services because we don't know what we get. Is it a re- is it a real reality show for real with some things or played by skits or they tell you they want certain things and then you just have to hype it a uh, hype it up a little bit or is this your demeanor, Doctor uh, Jack? I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared because I'm telling you, if you was the only GYN person out there. With some of your demeanor that you have telling folks business, they personal business, they medical business. Hell, I'd be scared to come to you, girl, because you might put me on Front Street one day. And then I know I got to come down now to the Bravo cast and say, can I have a spot on the show? Can I have a cameo so we can go and rectify or me straighten out, refute, rebuttal, whatever she said about me because she talked about me. Okay, because I don't know if HIPAA is helping us out anymore since Dr. Jack is over there just spilling everything like she wants to spill. Okay. But anyway, all of this is allegedly now, okay? But anyway, let's go on and get into this article uh, about Dr. Uh, Jackie and uh, Dr. Heavenly and, of course, Buffy Purcell. Now, Amanda Niles over there, a correspondent or article journalist who's writing up storylines or not storylines, but commentary on said subjects or said people uh out in the entertainment field or realm of uh gossip column columnless uh entertainment commentary um she works for urbanbellmag.com like i said and she titles her article merit to medicine star buffy parcel takes the high road plus dr hevelin doesn't back down now when did uh, dr hevelin ever back down when dr hevelin was heavy when dr hevelin was uh semi skinny when dr hevelin is skinny dr hevelin ain't back down from no war okay no war she even starts some war if she gets a chance to like she was just being all uh what do you call it a virgin in a sense when um Toya had her sip and paint party talking about she was being innocent and all that and then she gonna get on Dr. Damien for wanting to flirt and, 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 and spread his wings here and there yeah Toya was the culprit but she's always throwing salacious type hit parties you know what I'm saying that people talk about after the fact okay until the next one comes and she tops that one gotta get her kudos but let's get on into this article uh, on urbanbellmag.com go over there and get your little hits of stories that I don't bring out that you probably want to partake of i'm sure it's a list she has a catalog over there that you can go through and get your entertainment news that you feel you can use okay but anyway we go where it says merit to medicine star dr heavenly kimes climbs kimes is ready to fight all of dr jackie waters battles so it's no surprise that she took on buffy parcel at the reunion now see that's what i'm saying the reunion is supposed to come up i'm thinking um tomorrow the 29th and it's gonna air uh part one and two now you know i'm gonna be there and i'm i'm gonna be ready for dr hevelin with my pen and my pad and my mind to see how far she's gonna stretch out now do y'all remember when buffy and um this photo right here buffy and dr heavenly and uh contessa had went to support quad at her little uh cooking book signing at barnes and nobles i think it was and they were just saying like they were gonna be friends but lord have mercy Mm-mm, honey satan's children are at work <laughs> now, that was just a joke okay so don't get your panties all up in a bunch but dr heavenly has been definitely tearing buffy down every chance she gets because she's uh attacking her beloved her betrothed her best friend her bff dr jackie waters now i don't know why um dr heavenly is being dr jackie's mouthpiece i've been waiting for three episodes now for dr uh jackie to shed um dr heavenly down because she knows dr heavenly has definitely crossed many barriers many mountains many seas to come over to buffy and tear her down from her head to the soles of her feet and she hadn't been very apologetic about it because she was saying anytime jack somebody made jackie mad they are out of order and i'm like what about dr dr jackie being out of order what about her taking digs she wasn't supposed to be doing dr heavenly have you ever uh, called her out and not stopped to think that your best bff was wrong okay whether you criticized her and uh chastised her off camera or on camera it needed to be done in both spots okay because it don't seem like curtis really cares one 
are a hill of a beans, okay? Because he don't want to let um his wife, Dr. Jackie, out his sight. And I just don't understand that. She gave him a property manager's job to be near her at work. And he still act like he need more time. I'm like, it seems like, Dr. Jackie, do you have any colleagues? Do you have any constituents? Do you have a friend of a friend that can put Curtis to work? Because he needs to go back to work. Okay? Even if he ain't doing him a volunteer in his time. Okay? But he don't seem... Like he's the type of person that would volunteer and do things for free. It seems like he would want to get paid. But I'm on another subject. Okay, let me get back on point. We go back to the article. It says Buffy and Jackie relationship went left after Jackie called Buffy and Fertile at her event. After the cast went to Cabo, Mexico, St. Lucas. Okay, Buffy confronted Jackie about this. Jackie initially offered a cold apology. And if anybody saw that particular episode, who child is like we was in Antarctica somewhere, the North Pole, and we were like in our birthday suits. That's how cold. Uh, Dr. Heavenly's friend, Dr. Jackie, was to Miss Buffy Parcell up to her condition of not being able to carry children full term. Okay. Woo, child. You had to put on several winter jackets to catch that uh, or unthaw for what Dr. Jackie threw uh, at Buffy Parcell during that particular episode or two, two or three episodes. Okay. But then, um, she apologized again after pulling Buffy to the side on another day. And that was true. Uh, they were sitting on the beach and it was just them two. And maybe I think it was Dr. Simone and maybe Quad on the edge of the, the taping that they were showing us. Um, like they were standing off to the side and kind of could hear the apology being taken for what it was worth. I mean, I thought it. I bought it. The uh, apology she gave Buffy because nobody was there. It was just like them two in the midst of a conversation. No other women there. No other distractions. And Dr. Jackie hurriedly gave her the, um, the apology again because I guess she didn't want to be caught giving her a second, third, fourth, fifth apology okay since she had said she didn't want to do any more apologies at this point on that particular subject but hey who knows how anybody gonna swing these days it seems like you should be apologizing for dear life <laughs> if buffy has anything to do with it and i think hey apology when it seems like it's pretty much somewhat genuine and from what I ascertained when I was sitting there looking, it seemed like Dr. Jackie was a little bit more sincere with that second apology. I felt it, you know, and I thought it should have been left alone. But Buffy, you know, she's still suffering internal. And I guess she has to keep talking about it before she can be relaxed about it. But I guess she needs to take, you know, some more medication. She needs to get some more talk therapy in. And we just need to ease up on this particular subject. But it seems like, you know, Dr. Hill want to you know give the gusto as much as she can because she wants her beloved uh dr jacket protected at all times and i'm like who child when did you get the job as protective security and all of that uh for dr uh Jackie, Dr. Heflin, when did you get the uh, position baby how much do it pay all right but moving on from that uh she then apologized again after pulling Buffy to the side on another day. Dr. Simone Whitmore would later ask Jackie to apologize to Buffy once again. That was the third apology, and that was the episode that we saw uh, last week that had uh, aired. <clears throat> then it says Jackie, this angered Jackie, and probably is the cause of their friendship losing steam. And Dr. Contessa McCaff. And Dr. Heavenly are convinced Buffy is just using the situation for a storyline. Heavenly called Buffy out about this at the reunion, and it led to Heavenly calling Buffy fat. Now, I did leave out your big fat picture once ago, Dr. Uh, Heavenly. You were huge. You were like something like Shamu the Whale. And I can say it because, you know, I'm kind of healthy myself. And some people may think I'm Shamu the Whale as well. And I'm cool about that as well, too. But I don't go around calling people fat asses. You know what I'm saying? I may think it. 
I ain't gonna lie. I may think it sometimes, but it's because I'm angry. And, it, you know, you want to hit where the gusto hurts. You know what I'm saying? So that's the most obvious thing I guess people can point out. And like I said, I have been uh, plagued to doing that here and there. Uh, my younger years, of course, because mama don't fight no more. <laughs> <laughs> mama let the law do all her fighting for her okay if you try to fight me i'll be, be in fetal position waiting for you to finish beating me up so when i do get up off the floor then i'm going to the nearest police office and file charges and then i'm gonna seek litigation i'm just telling you how it rolls over here i ain't got time to be you know losing my teeth I ain't got time to, you know my glasses my eyes i ain't got time for you to be hurting my bones because i probably couldn't work after you gave me a good butt whip i probably couldn't work no more okay i'm just that frail so i'm just giving you how it goes with me over here but dr heavenly and um and, and contessa know she needs to sit her little behind down because she sat up there and got comforted a uh, comfort by um buffy parcel when her husband scott wasn't seeing her uh her losses that she had called herself losing when she had to come home because she felt so overwhelmed and she felt so guilty that uh her husband would guilt writ written or guilt writ her children guilt writ oh I, she he pretty much set the children up to do a guilt trip on mommy because she was away and he didn't want to take the responsibility of doing what he needed to do because if scott really put his mind to work like he do when he working it out with his patients and trying to find a diagnosis for them and trying to cure them or manage their pain through medication he should have been looking through the friendly one ads on, on nannies or housekeepers or whatever and interviewed them and skyped the wife which is dr contessa and put a um person in place when he felt like he just couldn't do it no more <laughs> you know what i'm saying let her do what she had to do you doing what you had to do so it'd be all kosher but evidently scott did not have any friends that gave a damn about him that could give him some advice on how to handle this situation or scott just didn't reach out to nobody and lord knows he had the men here on married to medicine and they have children he could have asked aiden he could have asked uh cecil i'm sure they knew somebody that could help out with the children and the cooking and the cleaning and the transporting them here there and everywhere while his wife was gone he could have did that okay but he wasn't thinking and i will i don't want to say that's all men's mentality because it's not you have some men are very in tune with family and their children and they go that extra mile if they have to but scott was just being lazy lazy and just one thinking about nobody but himself he could have made it work he could have did some uh, alternative things but he decided not to but anyway i'm just surprised that dr contessa would sit there and try to down buffy when buffy was there for her when nobody seemed like they were there for her when they was out there in cabo st lucas they were just sitting there looking at her like this like that making their own individual opinions of how she was wrong in some ways and things should have been talked out but no, when she left that table all confused and discombobulated, nobody uh, went after her. Dr. Simone didn't go after her. Her husband, damn sure, didn't go after her. He said, let her go. Let her cool off. That's what she do at home, you know. No conferencing. No, let me go see what my wife, you know, did. And I'm going to have to buy gifts to make up for my absent-mindedness, my misbehavior, my misspoken words. I'm going to have to pay for it through my credit card or my money in the bank. But it's okay because I shouldn't open my mouth in the first place. Or where was Mariah? Um, who else? Dr. Jack. I know it wouldn't have been Dr. Jack, but I just like to say her name here and there. Or even Toya, okay? Nope. Nobody came to her defense but old Buffy Parcell. And now she has the audacity to turn on her with Dr. Heavenly. Oh, did y'all see that episode that's coming up when Buffy, I mean, um, oh, the last episode and this episode coming up when, um, Contessa had a nerve to put her hands on Dr. Purcell. I mean, Buffy Purcell to calm her down and then like she's some, some, I don't know, like she was being so, so hysterical that she had to get her in check, like military style. Child, that would have been a, a right hook. I would have gave her an uppercut. And then ooh, that little jam your, uh, this thing, 
in your uh in the back like <laughs> on them wrestling moves if we could do that and get caught and not having the salt charge we'll be looking at after we did that okay i was just thinking that in my mind but going back to the article it said um and Dr. Contessa McCaff and Heavenly are convinced Buffy's just using it as a storyline. Heavenly called out Buffy about this at the reunion and also leading to or alluding to that Buffy was fat. Now, looking at Buffy's pictures now and her being heavy set, voluptuous and whatnot, was nothing compared to what you were looking like, Dr. Heavenly, back up in the day. You was a real roly poly, huh? And I say that with good, good intentions, you know what I'm saying? Because you're not that way now. So you can laugh at yourself. You can, you know, uh, more motivate others to see how you came and whatnot but i'm like are you drinking straight straight liquids are you exercising uh doing cardio and uh strength exercising uh, what are you doing dr heaven because you know i would like to partake myself uh be motivated but i don't want to be drinking my life away i just rather you know let me just stick to myself okay let me let me just do me and if you see any results let me know okay because i'm like shallow the well over here myself so i can't really call a spade a spade without calling myself a spade so let me just retract that you know you do you dr heaven over that you do you girl okay but um going back to the article it says many fans of the show felt like this was a bit hypocritical uh heavenly disagrees and she's not backing down however buffy has decided to take the high road okay buffy what high road are we taking back because i don't know because last time i heard that your husband did give you the okay to go and do surrogacy and if that's the case kudos to you i salute you go and have many babies many many babies that your heart can handle and your house can hold all right but going back to the article, it says, Dr. Heavenly Kleins had a heated exchange of words with Buffy Parcell at the reunion. After Heavenly accused Buffy of lying about her situation with Dr. Jackie Waters, Buffy said Heavenly was lying through them dentures. And Heavenly then said Buffy was lying through that fat ass. Okay, and I'm like, whoa, them two blows, them were two blows. Like, okay, I get them a point. I get on a point of who's going to be the tiebreaker because they were both sensational reads, okay? They really was, even though it was kind of hidden below the belt because I don't know if Dr. Um, Heavenly, is she wearing dentures or is she wearing those veneers that's protecting her other teeth? I don't know, but both of them, that was low blows. That was low blow. That was like total facial recognition on how somebody got somebody together okay they were hidden below the belt because they were mad that's why i told you this stuff come out things that you think about a person you know you already guilty in your mind but when they really push them butts and that stuff come out they be they be for real with that stuff so catch it drunk folks and children and when you get heated in the argument that's when the truth comes out those are the three factors children always tell you the truth when you're drunk the truth come out and set you free and then when you mad oh lord you catch the wraith of that person all right i'm just telling you girl i'm, I'm telling you i know about that okay and then it goes on to say um okay many fans of the show felt like heavenly was being hypocritical since she struggled with her own way and from what i understand dr heavenly still says she struggled so like i said i don't know if she's over there drinking her weight you know using smoothies and losing her weight that way and drinking you know two meals a day and then the third meal she's eating solid foods but they're healthy uh entrees that she's eating i don't know okay and then it says heavenly doesn't see it this way but this doesn't stop fans from making an older photo of her go viral heavenly acknowledged the photo on instagram okay and i don't know this is the photo that is surfacing and i think i used that for one of my videos as well if y'all can see it yeah that's dr heavenly when she was uh much heavier than she is now she was huge okay but it's okay because she got it under control and that's all that matters anyway if you know you don't like your physical appearance whatever they got plastic surgery out there do you do make sure it's done safely and you know she took um her lemons that was given to her meaning her fatness and she made lemonade she did what was best she lost weight and she went on with her life but on 
Dr. Heavenly's defense, she went on her Instagram account and said, y'all have no chill. She gave you the heart emojis as well as the laughing emojis. You got me. I had just had a baby. No shade. But I guess that's not an excuse. The Internet is undefeated. And, you know, she was just joking about what someone had put out on her about her size. Okay. And, uh, you know, she said it was the baby. But I was it food too, Dr. Heavenly? Because I, I went and said that too. My child is 28 years old. And I, ain't, I haven't lost that weight yet. <laughs> you think I still got my baby fat? <laughs> Do you think I still got my baby fat going on? Or is it just me can't push away from that table? Or get away from those sweets? desserts and stuff that i do love and my ginger ale and all that oh my i got gastritis now so that's what some of my health problems that i was dealing with over my holiday season and going to see my doctors so they just told me up from the flow up so y'all might see another sleek you know what do you call it smooth uh downsizing woman coming soon because child i can't even drink my ginger ale no it just, it just tears my stomach up or any drinks on on that of that matter so it's basically like i'm drinking apple juice cold apple juice or water and i can't eat spicy foods anymore you know i love my lemon pepper chicken and on uh, my teriyaki chicken and Ooh, child, just a, a, a plethora of food that I have to give up because it doesn't sit well on my stomach. And they had to remove two polyps out of my stomach, too. Am I getting too personal with y'all? You know, it's a family affair over here. We get down. So, but, you know, I, I just thought I'd let y'all know that because I was just on the road. And, you know, time just got away from me. So, I guess I'll just get back <laughs> to this commentary, okay? But y'all know I do my sidebar some, sometime like that. I give you a little bit more than what you were expecting. It's just like, <laughs> yes, child. You never know when I may break out in song or lose my voice. It looks like it seemingly is coming to be that. But I'm pressing on because I know y'all were waiting for this because I was waiting for, to share it with you all as well. Um, then we go back to the article. It says, regardless of her past weight issues, Heavenly has no regrets about what she said to Buffy after fans said they felt it wasn't cool that the old photo of Heavenly went viral. Heavenly tweeted the following. It's all good. I love it. I was fat then, and some folks are fat now. Woo, child, that was a, that was a read, Dr. Evelyn. That was a read, and it's accurate. It's accurate, because, honey, when you were fat then, I was fat probably, too, and I'm still fat. And it's just is what it is, okay? We carry our own burdens every day and our own crosses to bear. But I still don't think you should be out there doing that, Dr. Evelyn, okay? Because you get away with the fat jokes. You get away with the ugly jokes. And it just go on and on and on. And then you will be looked at. Do I really want to come to you to get my tea work done out of heaven? Or do I want to, you know. Girl, don't mess up your livelihood with all this foolishness that um you're doing on marriage and medicine. Okay, don't don't wreck your personal relationship with your professionalism going on. Because people are not going to be able to differ. What do you call it? Differ, differentiate? Something like that. Okay. Y'all know where I'm going with it. All right. So, um, I have a love-hate relationship with Dr. Heavenly, just like I do with Kenya Moore, just like I do with who else I've been getting on lately, Cynthia Bayless. It's just a love and hate relationship. Because think about it, if we were on the opposite scale, they were behind the YouTube talking about me and I was on the show, you know, I just get what I give, right? So, you know, it just is what it is, all right? But anyway, um, Dr. Heavenly responded to a, a commenter on her um, Twitter account. I think it's Twitter. Yeah, I think it's Twitter. She says, it's all good. I love it. I was fat then and some folks are fat now. Truth is truth. Okay. Sometimes it be your truth, Dr. Heaven. It don't be the gospel truth. It don't be the real truth. But it's just your truth coming from you. And I understand it. Okay. I'm like that too. But anyway, uh, it goes back to the article saying, as for Buffy, she is now taking the high road after a fan called Heavenly a bully. Buffy responded with the following. This is from um, Buffy's Twitter page. She said she's actually someone who has had a hard life and I feel for her. I see past all of her attacks on me and can actually see good, some good, excuse me, some good in her. I actually think she's one of the smartest people I've ever met. She's not been shown empathy in her life, so she has none for others in rela uh, related other news barbara released a clip uh preview of the reunion in the clip it has heavily and buffy go at it over the jackie situation and of course mariah toya and dr simone uh find it 
humorous that heavenly is calling buffy fat considering her past weight loss struggle and we'll see what they say they got a little clip here. Let's, let's see what it says or what we can hear she apologized multiple times to you i would never in a billion trillion years take something that has been robbed from me and hurt anyone in this world with that I did make my pain about the infertility your purpose. I was wrong to put that out without your permission. I appreciate that. Buffy, I receive. I apologize. Done with it. Let's have dinner. <laughs> Why couldn't you accept the apology and move on? Do you think the apology in Cabo was an apology that I could? <laughs> no. Yeah, it was. Now, I thought the apology that she did give her the second time in Cabo was legit. Getting her, all of them getting on her behind. Yeah, and now she trying to backtrack. See, that's shit I don't like about Dr. Heaven. She's trying to act stupid. Dr. Heaven is far from stupid. She's sarcastic as hell, but she's far from stupid. Okay, so that was the audio that was played uh, on UrbanBellMag.com, of course, and we're sharing it with you guys. <laughs> Because I tell you, it's a hot mess, but I can't wait to see that tonight uh, when it airs. Why this thing still talking? Hold on, guys. Okay. So, yeah, I can't wait to see the explosion of part reunion one and two that's going to be aired tonight. Uh, right now, we're in the wee hours of Sunday morning, 12, 10 a.m. I'm finishing up this taping. But, uh, yeah, y'all get down in the comments and y'all tell me what y'all felt about um, this particular video and the audio that y'all had a chance to partake of. If it caught it, hopefully it did. My mic uh, hopefully picked it up. And if you do, guys do like these earrings, I really do love them. They are from Ray's Keys TV. Uh, she has, or she's a consultant at Paparazzi Jewelry. Um, the paparazzi accessories.com or she sells paparazzi jewelry if you're interested in partaking of any of her jewelry because I think everything is like five dollars is um, necklaces um, these earrings I don't know if you can get these particular ones but these earrings were gifted to me from her thank you baby Mwah. um you need to um, email her at sun, S-U-N, Ray, R-A-Y-E, jury at gmail.com. She's one of the consultants over there at Paparazzi um, Jewelry brand. And I'm sure she can hook you up with some nice pieces. Okay. And tell her, Deb Chanel, 40 days world sent y'all over there. Deb Chanel, that's me. Okay. But hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about it. And I'm sitting here thinking, damn, why Dr. Helen call them folks fat around <laughs> So if she want to call folks fat around there all the time, I ain't got no problem with uh, Buffy saying she got fake teeth. Okay. That she's wearing dentures and, and maybe, she, I, I, hey, I don't know. <laughs> I'm an innocent bystander. But both of them was saying their truth. They were speaking out. They both were hurting. And they just threw them words at each other. So I guess they just felt like Buffy said she wearing um, dentures. And Dr. Heaven is saying, yeah, and you just fat. But it, that's a hot mess. Both things can be fixed. You know, you can definitely go get your teeth fixed. You can wear them veneers like Nene's wearing over there. Um and they're just like bridges being put or, or crowns being put on your teeth in one long piece. You know what I'm saying? To cover up the bad teeth and, and all that uh, stuff. And then you, you can lose weight. You definitely can. You can go get sucked out. You can exercise it out. Uh, however, both problems can be definitely fixed. They're definitely aesthetic type pleasing 
things that you want to have you feel it makes you feel better about yourself so i don't think people should definitely be tearing people down when they trying to improve their sales or their looks and whatnot so but it is what it is it's all fair love and war when you get mad you say and do things that you didn't intentionally mean to do not saying that you didn't mean it but you shouldn't have never probably brought it out especially on a public forum where people can take sides and, and come for you at any given moment on behalf of their beloved uh fans that they adore or you know viewers of people uh that are out there in the celebrity world but that's all i have for this particular video hope y'all liked it if you haven't subscribed to my channel think about subscribing come on over it's always a family affair over here uh i love for you all to be over here i love for y'all to get down in the comments interact communicate with one another i'm just saying be respectful be peaceful with one another and remember everybody have their own points of view their own uh situations of how they see things from their perspectives their viewpoints and they're all valid okay but be nice. That's all I ask. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.